Hi students! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a digital portfolio using Google Slides. We're going to have the chance to use images, audio, and video to show your families everything that you know. The first step is your teacher will be giving you a template inside of your Google Classroom and they'll make a copy for you so you'll have your very own portfolio. Or they might give you one that you can create yourself where you're designing it how it all looks. So for now, we're going to be working inside of my template and we're going to start by inserting images. All right, so I'm inside of my digital portfolio inside of Google Slides. And we have ones that look a little bit more like a scrapbook. We have a digital portfolio that looks a little bit more like a notebook. Or like I said, you can make one completely of your own. Some of the things that we can put on the page is we can have text on the page. We can have an image on the page. We can have some audio clips where you're playing a voice, as well as we can even insert video that will play on the page. And when you're showing it to your parents, you can go into presentation mode and it will look even more exciting and all of your buttons will work when you're hitting play. So let's see how we can create one of these ourselves. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice inserting an image. Now we can insert an image using things that we search on the web. We can also insert an image using the camera that's on our Chromebook or our laptop. And so we're gonna try inserting that image and putting it on. We can also replace an image, which will replace an image that I already have on the page with yours. So to insert an image, what you're gonna do is go up to the insert menu and you'll see image. And then it's going to give you the options of what type of image you would like to be able to um, put into your presentation. So you can search the web, you can have an image from inside of your Google Drive, or we can use an image from our camera. It's going to open up my camera. Now because I'm using my camera for this video recording, it's not letting me select it right now, but it will work for yours. Now I can also go ahead and choose an image that's already on the page. And as soon as I choose the image and I see that little blue box around it, I can go up to replace image and it actually gives me the exact same options as insert image, but it's gonna make sure it goes in this exact same spot. So if I go ahead and search the web and I'm just gonna go and search for an image of science, I can go and find any image that I want to be able to put on here and it's going to keep the same shape as the image that was already on the page and so it'll look really nice. So now it's your turn. This is where you're going to pause the video. I want you to go to the insert menu and choose image. Try taking a picture with your camera and try resizing your image with some shortcuts or by dragging the blue box. You can even try replacing your image. When you're done practicing this on your portfolio, come back to this video and unpause. All right, good job inserting your images. We're gonna use another type of image now, and that's called a screenshot. This is where I can take an image of something that's existing on my screen and put it on my slide. What we wanna do is take an image of perhaps a piece of work that you've done, we're gonna screenshot it and put it on our slide we're going to take it an extra step and we're going to link it to that original assignment. Now inside of your Google Drive you know that you have all of your different assignments from your teacher that have been assigned to you in your Google Classroom. So you could choose any of your assignments and open it up to try to do some screenshots. So we're going to practice that now. So here I have one of a Google Drawings assignment here from my daughter where she was talking about conquest and consequence in her social studies class. What we're going to do is we're going to do the screenshot. Now, I have an image for you on our pause slide of how to do a screenshot with a Chromebook or how to do a screenshot with a PC. And what you're doing is you're pressing those three buttons in order to bring up some little crosshairs. So I'm gonna press my screenshot shortcut. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be drawing. I'm gonna click and drag so that now I've captured what I wanna see on my screen and it's going to already copy it to my clipboard. So now what I can do is I go back to my digital portfolio and all I have to do is use the control V. That's your shortcut for paste 
or right click paste and now that screenshot is right there on my slide. I can resize it just by dragging from the corners of those blue lines. So now I have this really nice screenshot of this assignment, but I want to be able to link it to the original assignment so my parents can see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that assignment and at the very top in the URL bar, I'm going to click once until it's all blue and I can right click or I can do control C copy or of course right click and copy. I've copied that link. And so now when I come back to the digital portfolio, I'm going to select that screenshot and I'm going to say control K. That's going to make this screenshot a link. So now I can paste in the link, control V, apply. So now when I'm showing my portfolio, if my parents were to click on that screenshot, we'll be able to click and go to the actual assignment. So now it's time to pause the video once again. You're going to take a screenshot using the shortcut keys. And you can see right here on this slide, I have the Chromebook shortcut in red. I have the PC shortcut in green. You're then going to paste that image on your slide for your portfolio. And then you're going to link your image using Control K so that when your parents click, they'll be able to see it. When you've done this task, come back to this video and unpause. All right, we have images on our portfolio. Now we're gonna work on putting on video. Video is a nice option for you to be able to talk about what you know. So you can make a video just like I am right now. And we have an amazing extension called Screencastify that will allow you to record those videos. You can choose to record your screen. You can choose to record you, however you wanna do that. Maybe you're giving a book talk. Maybe you're talking about your goals. Whatever it is, we want those videos on our portfolio. Now I have a science video that I want to be able to put. Now our videos are stored in our Google Drive. That's how we're going to be inserting them. You could also insert from YouTube, but those videos already exist from other people and we want to put your videos on here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can use the insert menu to put in a video from our drive. So on my slide, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to say this time insert and I'm going to be choosing video. When I'm inserting video, it will allow me to search YouTube for a specific video, but right here is my Google Drive button. What's really nice is if it's a video that you have recently recorded, you can go ahead and click the recent button and that's what will come up. Now I can see here, I've got a video of me recording using Screencastify on top of my portfolio, or even here I've got my Magic School Bus Science example. I'm gonna say select, and it's going to put that video right there on my page. Now, it inserted it really big, so just remember, you can go ahead and grab the corners of that blue line, and you're gonna be able to resize that video, and you can put it anywhere you want on your page. Now I've got that video that will be able to play. If you're trying to test your video and play it right here on the slide, you'll have to give it a little double click in order to play it. Cruising down San Juan. Or of course, you can go into presentation mode to play your, play your video and see that lit up play button. All right, you guessed it, it is time to pause again. So we want you to pause, go to the insert menu and choose a video. And you can try using a YouTube video just to practice or if you've already made one with Screencastify, put that video in. Insert, video, and when you're done, come back to this presentation. All right, great job students. We have images, we have links, we have some video. The last thing I want to show you how to do is how to insert audio. It's really nice to be able to have a little play button where you're able to describe your thinking, maybe answer a question, give a response. So I'm going to show you how we're going to use a web tool called Online Voice Recorder. Now what's really important is if you're using a Chromebook, your audio files that you're saving will save into your Google Drive. Because in order to put in audio, it has to be in our Google Drive. I made a new folder in my Google Drive called audio files. That's where I save all of my different audio files. So I'm gonna show you how we do that and get it onto our page. 
So the first thing I did is I go to my Google Drive and of course I made a space. I said new folder and I'm going to name that folder audio files because that's where I want to be able to put all of my different recordings. Once you've done that, hit create. So now you can see I have a folder in my Google Drive called audio files and this is where I'm going to save all of my recordings. I'm going to be going to a site called onlinevoicerecorder.com. This is a great site because I don't need to sign in and when I'm using a Chromebook, it's going to save my audio files straight into my Google Drive. So I'm going to start recording. I'm really proud of this piece of work because it was the most difficult essay I've ever written, but it really stretched my thinking as a writer. I was able to use figurative language for the first time effectively. As soon as I make that recording, it's going to create for me a sound wave file. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and it's going to open up my Google Drive and I will be able to put that sound wave file in my drive. All right, so my audio file is inside my Google Drive. And now what I'm going to be able to do is go insert and this time I'm looking for audio. What's fantastic is it's going to search my drive for my audio files that I've just recorded. And there I can see I have my figurative language audio files right here and I can say select and it's going to put it in as a play button. What's neat is the play button is an image. So if I want that play button to be bigger, I actually can make that bigger. I can drag those corners just like I did before with my other images and I can make my image even bigger so that people know that that's a play button and it really is going to stand out. So now on my portfolio page, I can add a little bit more information by typing. I could type a little bit more about my goals, but I now have images, links, audio, video, all to demonstrate my learning. So this is your chance to make your portfolio amazing. Good luck with everything. And if you need any help, let me know. But you're on your last pause to be able to insert some audio. That's your job now. And then you are all done. All right. So you're going to go to onlinevoicerecorder.com. You're going to save the audio to your Google Drive. And then you're going to go ahead and use the insert menu for your audio. Congratulations on making your own digital portfolio of learning.